everybody welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make a chanel faux leather purse uh i really like the the leather material that i've seen at dt so i did pick up a, a couple packs of them so i didn't really know what i was going to use for them i bought some white which i did the barbie jenga bed and uh the black i just kind of played around with different ideas and thought, well, you know what? I seen this other um, post that someone made a placemat purse. Uh, I believe it was the posh, the paper, the paper posh lady. She made a purse out of placemats. Now, I haven't seen any placemats in my local DT that I'd like to make a purse with, a little tote. So I thought I'm going to incorporate the leather into this and just change it up a little bit. I do want to add a lining to the inside of the purse as well instead of just leaving it uh, blank on the inside. So I just want to change it up a little bit. So what you're going to need is two placemats from DT. It doesn't matter what prints on them because you're not going to see the print. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to flip it over and you're going to want to cut just under an inch off the top on the so you'll need two placemats but you'll cut an inch off each placemat now when you do the sizing of the placemat you want them to be exactly the same because they're going to hook up on the sides and the, the sides of the walls basically in the ends of the purse and underneath so they will mesh together I guess the best way to explain it is kind of going to be like that so you're going to need them the exact same measurements. So on both placemats, you're going to cut the top off. Now, it's a little bit different from one placemat to the other placemat that you're going to do. So the first first placemat, we cut off the one inch. You're going to do that on the second one, so you make sure you have the same size. The next step you're going to do is you're going to want to cut off on each side. You're going to want to cut off just a, a quarter inch on each side. Now... You can make it any size you want if you want to make it a little bit smaller. I'm just going by my leather that I'm going to put on it. Now, these, these did come in a couple different colors. They came in um, black, uh, rust like a rusty brown, a white, a red, and I think that was it. And, oh, sorry, a navy. So, I don't know, check your local DTs. They were out. I don't see them in the store right now, so I don't know if they're going to be restocked again. But I, I knew the, the lady was telling me that they did sell out fast. So, once you cut off both ends, just under an inch, quarter inch, you can do that on the exact same other one. So, you have both the same size. Now, when you put it on, you actually want to have movement on a little bit underneath on the side. This top will be cut off. You want the material being, the reason being you want a little bit of material because you're going to want to glue it all the way around. Now, this is why this side is just too long and you want to take the, the round corners off, which you will do on the top and when you cut it, it will be square. Now, times two. Now, I already did one. It's going to look... I'm gonna tell you how I did. Sorry, I'm just trying to reach over here. So this is one that's already cut and glued on. So basically you have enough just to flip over and glue. Now, I put the leather on and I, I did try doing another project that didn't go really well with the plastic placemats. I tried different glues, it was really bubbly. I just used Mod Podge onto the placemat and it actually came out really well. And I really liked that it was a nice flat looking because another project I tried to do, which was a bust, it glued really funny and it wasn't very good. So I did leave this one to dry overnight. So the next step, what you wanna do is you wanna make these lines. Now, the lines are two and a quarter inch on this side, two and a quarter inch, two and a quarter inch on that side, and underneath is also a two and a quarter inch as well. So you're going to just bring your lines down. Now, the next step you'd be is you have to cut out these corners. Now, being that I've already did this, 
you would have to cut it that you have enough material, which I will just show you because I did the other side already. Now, which is gonna look like this. So you just cut it up. I think I already cut this one, I did. So when you glue them, you will glue it like that. So it will all be folded. I will do that off camera. You can probably want to do this before you glue that you will have to do this before you glue them on i just have this little cutting tool which is from dt you want to make sure that you scorch it and that you don't cut right through because you don't want to cut the placement off and you don't want to cut the leather once you do that as you can see here i've already did where the lines are here and as well here and it still holds up really well where you will fold it in like such but it will be this material will be glued over so and then we're going to move to the second one so your second place mat which is already cut now you're going to want to keep the just under an inch where you cut off each place mats because those are going to be your handles but we'll get to that near the end so you're going to do the exact same measurements now when i measured it i also measured on the inside and it came to 8.75 inches like i said if you cut a little bit more off than you 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 have all you have to do is just make it a little bit smaller but make sure the two place mats are exactly the same size now with these corners gone now this is going to be the different on this one what you're going to want to do let me just look here i just don't want to cut it as i'm doing off camera so you're going to want to angle I wish I should use my ruler. Now, this is just for the lines for you. Sorry, where's my ruler? There it is. Let me use my ruler. These little flaps you're not gonna see anyways, but I always wanna keep them. So you're just gonna wanna angle, angle it a little bit. And I'm gonna do it this way. Kind of want them both the same measures like i said you're not going to see them now i'm going to do that to the exact other side now it's easier if you do this before you glue it on but like i said i wanted to show you so i didn't want to confuse anybody This part here, unlike the other placemat, is you're gonna keep it. You are going to keep this one. The thing that you're gonna cut out, and I'm gonna show you, I wish I had a marker. I'm just gonna show you here. This little angle here, this triangle, let me just color it in. You're gonna cut that part out. You're gonna cut that part. You are not gonna cut this. So just leave it like this. Keep this line because this will be where you scorch it. So you're just cutting this part out now. Same with the other side. Now I've already attached it on the leather, but it's easy enough. I just have to take an X-Acto knife just slightly and I can take it off. But I would suggest doing it before you glue it on. So if you're gonna do like me and make it a little bit more difficult, I just thought it was easier to show you guys. So that's why I did it off camera. Now I'll just do a quick one here. I'm just gonna, and then I'm gonna glue all the sides. You now I can obviously I can't find, oh, there it is. I'm gonna take this X off. 
now that we have that. Not that nobody's going to see it, but... Sorry. I, I just used the Mod Podge, which doesn't matter which one you can use, the matte or shiny. I find it works really well. I've used it on a bunch of videos. Now, this will pay attention. Ooh. Then I'll have to glue those back on like such. Now I have to lift this up a bit. Sorry, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut my leather underneath. I'm gonna re-glue this on after. Whoa. Then you're going to want to cut and repeat for the other side so this flap when I scorch it I'm not going to show you the scorching for all of them I did it on the other like I showed you already oh how do you work this there we go. I'm just gonna use the ruler as you do it. So now this, and you're just gonna have to bend it a bit. And you're gonna repeat to the other side. Okay, so I end up cutting, <clears throat> excuse me, I end up cutting a little bit more in, just so, now these won't get glued down, just the other part, but once we flip it, turn it over on the side, this will be done on the inside, like such. And then we will, I'll, I'll show you what we'll do after when we put it together. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to glue this all the way around. I'm using Gorilla Glued Sticks. I'm going to glue it all the way around. Not up to this corner and up to this corner. And I'm going to leave this part for last. We don't glue these down. And I'll show you the other one that I did. I already glued the corners down. This is going to be the side that will fit right in there once it's done. And it turned out pretty well. I think I got a little bit of glue or something sticky on here. But this will be the side that will fit right in when it's glued on the other side. So let me get this glued and then we will move on to attaching both pieces together. Okay, now that I have all the corners all done, I am I'm seeing this reflection here, sorry. I did buy some mounting tape, uh, it's double-sided. I got it from Dollarama. You can buy them at Dollar Tree. They didn't have any in my local store. So I did it on the piece that had the fold over edges. I will put the bottom this one like such and then I have mounting tape here and here as I'm going to do it like this so let me get that on and then it's just hard to show holding it like this what we're going to do in the next step once they are put on Okay, now that I got that side in, as you can see, it's nice and flat. I did stick a couple spots in with actually some crazy glue and it sealed nicely. Now I'm gonna need to attach the side. Let's see what's the best way. I have glitter out here. I keep seeing glitter all over. Okay, so the next side. Now, I wouldn't use hot glue, just because hot glue, when it dries, you know, it's kind of bulky. So, you're 
you're going to want to glue this part as in as you go. So make sure there is no extra when you're gluing it, that there's no extra flap that it has to be nice and tight right from the corner like this. And just, I would do the top part and make sure it's secure. And then you're gonna need to fold the side up and it will be like this. And you're gonna repeat on both sides. Now, you can take out the corner, but then it's gonna, this is nicely folded. So you're gonna need to and you and the very make sure that you actually make sure it's really really <clears throat> excuse me as I'm just going to show you here that it's tight down in the corner here so when you flip this over that it's tight and you're going to repeat that for both sides so I'm going to do both those off the camera I'm going to let them dry good and then we're going to move on to the straps and then the lining on the inside. Okay, so I sealed it around. It turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Now the lining will do last because we're gonna wanna do the handles on it. So the two three quarter inches from each placemat from the top when we cut it, I cut them down to, let's see. Well, I'd say they're almost 30, 31 inches. It just depends on how, how you would like your handle to be on here. So it really depends where you place them on there. I had an extra pair, uh, piece of leather, so you are gonna need three pieces of the full leather or any material that you want to use. Now, I'm just gonna take the leather and I'm just gonna wrap, wrap the ends. I'm actually gonna start them off. Now, I would not suggest using hot glue because if you all know about hot glue, it tends to, tends to leave like bumps on it. So I will start it off with the crazy glue because the crazy glue has been working really well. And I just bought that at the dollar store, one container of crazy glue, and I still, oh, there's still enough in there. Um, that I'm gonna start it off to hold it down. Then I'm gonna use Mod Podge and make sure when you are wrapping it, that it is actually flat and that you don't have bubbles in it. Just like how it's nice and flat on this. So you're probably gonna have to leave the handles overnight as to let it dry. Once you wrap them over, the bottoms really don't, you will not see them because it will be on the inside. And then I will show you what we're going to do with the lining. So I am going to do these off camera and I will come back and tell you if there was any issues or anything like that. But I think that's going to work because it worked for this so far. So once I get these done, we'll probably be back tomorrow to film some more tomorrow. And uh, then I will show you how we're going to attach them to the purse and we'll move on from there and then move to the lining. Okay, so I tried doing the straps. I wasn't too pleased how they turned out. I don't know where the other one is. I It didn't sit too well. I tried around, played around with the trivet on it because I was gonna put trivets. I've now decided I'm not gonna do the trivets, but when I did put it, it just looked really flimsy as you can see. I was not happy with it. So I took an alternate route and wanted to do something different. So I actually went to the store. I didn't make it to Dollar uh, Tree, but I did make it to Dollarama because I was just in the area. And I found this dog toy. Now there's another piece missing on the other side. I'm gonna show you in a minute. So it's just a tug rope I thought would be really good for using for the handle. I actually, I'm just trying to grab the scissors here. I don't know where my good ones are. So I actually just, this was part was just on the inside. So this was, like I said, from Dollarama, but I'm sure Dollar Tree has it. I don't have pets, so I don't shop in that section. 
I'm sure they got some kind of toy or, you know, maybe you have some kind of idea that you want to do. So I just took this tape off. I'm going to show you. I just thought it would look really, it would be really good for using for the handle. I did think of a few other things that I had on my, in my crafting stash that I went through. I had a dog leash, but it was super thin. I just thought it looked too thin to use. If you're using a knife, be careful. Um, so, and then you just pull it out. So I used this, so I'm just going to show you what I did. So I just thought it looked a lot better for a nice handle on the bag like that. Obviously not with the green. So we still needed another piece of leather. I did measure it to 14.14.5. I've written down. Now I'm just going to show you another what. So this was my other idea. I thought it was thick enough. The only problem is I thought it would be too flimsy uh the rope itself is just really where this one's a lot more durable I find you could use that if you don't mind the handles hanging to the side I just like if they stuck up because they're just little handles anyways you might have a better idea I just chose this way I'm not going to uh I'll do this off camera, but I'm going to show you what I did because I already did one and I really liked it. So I end up using this as 14.5 inches. So it would go inside. Sorry, did I just bang my camera and it's crooked now? I'm sorry about that. Why is this covered? There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so it all depends so you can measure it how much you want i did 14.5 but i'll probably move it down a little bit more so i came up with this so once i'll show you so i already have the leather on it and if you looked at purses they always have that little tuck and seal kind of like a progies if you want to call it so i just thought this would look so much and I just played around with it to bend it so the leather is like kind of molded to the thing. It has a little bit of creases, but it is nice and sturdy and it would go like such. I just thought it was just a really cool look. I would do the, the tuck together side. You could do it this way, but I think just tucked on the inside would work a lot better. So I took the piece of leather. I have an extra piece of leather that I had from another project. As you can see, I took it off one of the the pieces of the placemat that I didn't uh, I didn't like. I pulled it off. Now I'm going to cut this down to the 14. It's going to stick off a little bit, which is fine because I rather, besides the leather, also putting some of the glue when she glue it inside the purse. I thought it would do really well. I suggest when you are cutting it that. I'm just going to show you here putting a piece of tape so it does not fray because it happened to me already once on the other one so just wrapping it nicely so it doesn't fray at the end and then you will cut there once that's done you get your leather or whatever material that you'd like to use and you're just going to fold it over like this all the way around so I'm using Gorilla Hot hot Glue Sticks. I'm going to do like that. You're going to measure it once you have it flipped. Wrap it over. And I would, I would give it a little bit extra. You have to do the flip on the other side. This piece is too big. But you have to do both flips on each side. Don't make the flip very big. I would even... It is not very big at all, but that's the part that you're going to pinch together when you glue it on the rope. So I measure it. I actually measured it a little bit too big. So I actually, when I had to do, when I did it, I had to flip it twice, which was fine. 
don't you don't make it too thick of the line and it worked out really well so i'm going to get this done and then we're going to move on to the inside of the purse the lining what we're going to do with that okay so now I, I finished the handles on there so the next step is the lining on the inside i found dt has um these pillowcases there's a couple different colors there's white there's black I'm going to choose one I chose one with a little bit of a color and a print on the inside so what we're going to do on the inside of the purse we're going to want I don't if you've ever used uh DT pillowcases for any craft and especially this material that satin when you cut it it frays a lot uh if you watch my chanel hula hoop purse it does fray a lot so the best way i found instead of cutting it from having the bottom was the bottom you're not going to see on the inside but it will look and you're gonna have to turn it inside out obviously it's too long but i'm just going to show you you're gonna have to cut it <clears throat> is that it's gonna have a nicer look when you actually glue it on the inside all the way around because it's already finished at the top of the pillowcase and it has a nice lining on it so my suggestion is you're gonna be cutting the bottom and then sewing it or gluing it at the bottom you're gonna have to measure the length for that now i'm gonna there's different ways you can do that handle and like i always say in my videos there is no right or wrong to crafting whatever you like and a lot of you that watch my videos are from some crafting groups so you know it's your judgment call on what you want to do now with my handles i am doing them on the inside on the inside like this but i'm gonna put it the lining over them so there's just going to be that little bit of extra lift and glue them down around it you could cut a hole and do it solid and have it sticking out i'm just going to take a little bit of the easier part now to figure out the dimensions what i would suggest is now you'll have to give yourself some leeway <clears throat> the reason why I'm putting it on the outside because on the inside it's a little bit hard because it's long is you're gonna kind of let me see let me grab a clip here and I'm not good at sewing at all so I mean sewing or anything with material and stuff like that I really so if you were putting the handles on the outside which you could but you would have to figure a different different ending so the ends are not covered here only because they're going to be on the inside you could do it just kind of placing it here and like such you just got to remember you got to give yourself some leeway on the inside if you do this too tight you're not gonna have and the only reason why i have it on the outside is just for measurement is that you want to have it so once you put the handles on the inside you can go around the actual handle on the inside that you're not going to be short material it's always better to have more material than less whenever you're doing anything because then you can always cut it down or you can just gape it in the corner so this will kind of be my marker and then i will probably give it an extra two inches and that's where I'm going to cut it off and do the side. Let me move this here. I'm going to cut it off there. And then you'll just want to measure it. I'm just going to give it a little bit more space underneath because you got to remember there still has to cover the bottom so i'm probably gonna give it let me where's my ruler always a little bit more than less because you can always adjust it after so i'm gonna probably if the bottom is 
two and a half inches. From there, I'm gonna give it three inches and I'll probably cut it off there. A little bit of material on the bottom is, let me just see if you can see that. So I have it flushed up top. I'm gonna give it three inches, a little extra underneath and cut it there and glue it. I'm probably gonna glue it. I don't like this material at all, sewing it. And I've always had a good thing when I've used uh, the glue sticks on it and you just fold it over and put the seams together, similar to what I did to the handles. I really, really like that. So, and it's worked before and I didn't have any issues because you'll notice when you do cut it, it does fray. That's why I wanted to use the top pillowcase for that. And you'll have to do it on the bottom as well as on the side where you cut it is cut it there as well. So I'm gonna start measuring this just properly again off camera because the stand here is a little bit in my way. Uh, once I do that, I will come back and show you that. And then I'm gonna show you the, I have a couple ideas what I wanna do it on the purse. I'll give you a couple options you could do. You might have your own options, but let me get that back, get, get that done and then I will come back. Okay, and I'll show you the purse. So it took a little bit of time and you gotta have patience to put in the, the lining. I had to do it sideways, so I wouldn't even been able to show you, but I just put it on its side and I actually glued them down very well. And this is what it looks like with the lining in it. It turned out really well. Um, so the next step would be is what logo you wanna put on there. Now there's different things. These were sold at Dollar Tree. I don't know if you remember seeing them. Um, sorry, I'm just grabbing something here. Now, I use I use those ones for the Chanel perfume bottle that I did. I was gonna do the same, but I thought I was gonna do something a little different. I thought the fake leather would look really look good with some pearls. So I did get these pearls from Dollar Tree. Now, if you've seen my tutorial on the flower box that I did, the rose flower box. I did a really nice um, logo on there with with the pearls and it turned out really nice. I don't have the box anymore because I gave it to a friend that has a, a beauty salon. So here's how you're gonna do the, so if you wanna do it this way, I'll show you. You're gonna grab a piece of paper. You're gonna go on and figure out what logo you want. I'm not gonna do the circle part on it. I'm just gonna do the C's. So there's different logos you can pick. I picked this one. I am using my tablet. Now you just grab a piece of paper. You put it over like that. Sorry, I was drawing on here earlier. And you just trace it through as you go. That's what I did. And this is what I came up with. I'm going to cut this out. The C's, you cut out the middle part. And if you see my other one, I'm actually gonna cut it out. <clears throat> Looks like I have C's in the back here. I mean, when I cut it out, I'm gonna glue it onto this paper and I'm gonna glue it on the back. So then when I cut, and then I'm gonna have to cut it out again on this paper. But when you put, once it's done, it will come out in black. Now I know it's black on the black purse, but that's what you want because you're just using that as a stencil to glue your little beads onto the CCs. Now, I'm gonna actually do this off camera. I'm going to cut this and glue this on once it's dry. I will come back before I do the pearls, but I'll just show you what I am talking about. Okay, once I, I cut it out, you can see the lining here from the pencil. I just glued it onto my stock paper and then I use Mod Podge for that to glue it on. I let it dry for a bit and then I end up cutting it out. So the next step, once you'll see on the sides here that it's white and it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna have, it's just a template to hold all the beads on to glue them on. And you're just gonna color in the sides of the stock paper so you won't see it when you glue it on. Even though there's the pearls, you won't see the white edging on it. 
So once I do that, I will start cutting the beads on. I will take a picture of it and um, so a closer picture and a still picture and I'll put it on the Crafty Shopper page on on Facebook if you want to look at it so you can measure out how many beads go on there if that's what you decide to do. I'm going to get these beads on here and then I will come back and show you and attach it to the purse and I will show you the finale of it. Okay, so I finally finished it. I still have from one pack of beads and I believe there is, oh, it doesn't say how many, it just says five, uh, 15 kilograms and they're the five millimeter ones. So this is what I still have left. So this is how it turned out. As you could see the back, so the black will mesh into the purse. I did add a tassel. I don't know. I don't have the proper chain. I try to find one today for it. So this tassel is just actually from Fabricland. It's the faux leather. It is not from Dollar Tree. I just put a ring around it for now, as you can see, um, and attached it. I just thought it gives a little bit of character. I am going to, I'm just going to put this, um, I am going to put the logo on. So I'm just holding this up here and I think this one's a little bit too tall. Uh, I am gonna put this logo on right there. I am gonna use some, probably E6000 because I have some on hand or the Well Bond, but I think I'll just put the E6000, glue it and let it dry really good. I think it turned out really well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Please like and subscribe. If you like to check out, I'm going to take a couple more pictures of it and I will post it on the Crafty Shopper page. You can either find me on Instagram under the Crafty Shopper or Facebook under the Crafty Shopper as well. I will be doing a giveaway for some Jenga blocks that will come up in my next video and there'll be total instructions on what to do next. And we'll see you in a couple weeks. Uh, a week or two and I hope everybody is staying safe and happy crafting everybody. Bye-bye.